Hi, Jared. Kelsey! What a surprise! So, these are your students that fear and respect you? Yes, we are. I'm about to fear and respect the living grits out of him right now. Oh, no. My grits. I'm gonna need my grits. Yeah. I'd say you've got that move done pretty well. Oh, you guys take a five. Kelsey and I are gonna get a fro-yo. Oh, come on, Kelsey. Hey, thanks a lot, Kim. You cost me a date with the coolest girl in school. What are you gonna do, Sensei? Throw me out of the dojo? <laughs> Kim, in the future, let's respect Jerry enough not to embarrass him in front of girls he's lying to. Thank you, Jack. It's called decency, Kim. Hi, Jerry. Hey, Kelsey. I was just talking to this kid I've never seen before. I don't even know his name. Right, Milton? Really, Jerry? Oh, guys, check it out. I smoothed everything out with Kelsey. I promised I would never lie to her again, and I got a date with her this afternoon. Yeah! The kid is back in the game. Woo! Jerry, what about the time where you tried to get Kelsey jealous by making her think you were dating a cheerleader? Who helped you out? Wow, you're right. He was there for me. Did you know that Brian Donnelly actually asked him out? <laughs> oh. Oh. Come on. Let's go to the park. I don't get it. Why do I have to be the princess? I am not swapping. <laughs> hey, lady. Eyes up here, okay? <laughs> oh, these sexy legs are a curse. Hey, it's a groundhog. Hey, well, you're a cute little fella, aren't you? How you doing? It's not a groundhog, Jerry. That's a porcupine. Wouldn't get too close to it either. Uh, thank you, Jack. But I think I know the difference between a groundhog and a porcupine. Okay? <laughs> Are you looking for your mommy or something, cutie? No? No? <laughs> this dumb groundhog thinks he's a porcupine. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have to go over there. You've got a little something here. Huh. Ah! Wow, I really hit my head. Is there a bump? <laughs> Just a teeny one. Dude, your forehead is jacked up. I think we finally lost the bees. Where's Kim and Eddie? Oh, Kim got her hair tangled up in a thorn bush. Eddie's trying to get her out. It took a while, but I finally got Kim's head out of that bush. Luckily, I had my official Explorer Scout pocket knife. Guys, the battlefield's right over there. Come on. Eddie. Even if you make it out of this battle alive, Kim's gonna kill you. Wait, that was Kim? 